Hey guys, what's up? Vice Declatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my next war recap video, and I uh, apologize for the audio once again, working on that, also working on how I'm going to do my live attacks, because I am using my iPhone to record these, so i uh, got to do those attacks with my iPad uh, for the best results, so working on the live attack series, and then I'll have some more Clash 101, that type of stuff coming out. I went ahead and looked at all the new, uh, or all the continuing series that you guys wanted to keep seeing, so going to keep those going, uh, so stay tuned for that. But right now, um, I'm in One Hive Alpha, kind of stage two of tryouts for the One Hive uh, family plans, and we're going to go back two wars because the most recent one wasn't very close, and look at a few of these replays before they disappear. Uh, starting off with Tux, nice attack here by Tux, so we'll take a look at it against the top Town Hall 9. Um, just go ahead and drop in a hog, going to lure out the CC, and I don't think we see enough of this anymore. Just luring it out to the side using the two witches, um, queen, a few wizards, uh, just taking it out that way. Not that common anymore, but I, it was nice to see it because um, it's, it's a good way to do it. You don't really lose many troop space, just a few barbs, because those witches continue to help out with the push to take out the queen too. So I think he has a golem in the CC, which will drop in just a moment. Jump spell down first, now the king. Yep, there goes the golem. I would drop the golem a little earlier because uh, all those defenses and stuff are locking onto his heroes. Uh, so one, you're not going to get that much benefit from the golem. But it'll do some tanking for the hogs once they come in. So uh, here comes a giant, a few hogs. A uh, nice giant there tanking for two-point defense. And then just kind of going surgical around the base. Has quite a few hogs. Uh, so I was able to take out uh, a lot of defenses just one at a time. First heal was down. Good spot there. Uh, gonna heal them, Tesla pop, Skelly's pop, uh, so they're healed for that. And now coming in on the left side, has the king there, so drops the heal a little bit earlier, um, so those hogs are protected. And now coming in with the last few towards the bottom here, you can see the golem mites are still tanking, so they get pretty good benefit from that golem, and the queen is still up as well. Dropping that last heal, uh, gonna protect those hogs, uh, pretty solid placement on it, uh, reaches out to that expo, and then that one giant bomb goes off, but not many hogs there to take the blow. Um, last few defenses, just that uh, cannon in the bottom right here will go down, and that'll basically do it. Now it just has to do some cleanup. So as wizards around the outside, uh, some archers, all that good stuff, going to take out these last few trash buildings as they move their way around. King is still up, but I think the hogs will hop on him in just a moment, take him out. And then these last few buildings on the left here go down. Uh, nice attack, Tux for the three star here. Alrighty, I actually wanted to show a Town Hall 10, I'm going to go a little bit out of order, but uh, this is the number 1, who was actually also a, uh, who's a Town Hall 9, so Town Hall 9 stepping up for a Town Hall 10, uh, pretty, you know, premature Town Hall 10, but has those Infernos and one of them's on multi, so not an easy base to take out, uh, typically the best you can really do is 2 star if you're a Town Hall 9, but does a very nice attack and it looked like for a moment he might have a chance at 3, it doesn't quite get it. Uh, but we'll show the attack, uh, just dropping poison spell on the CC troops. I guess a free giant bomb there too, just because of the hole in the base. And then going to drag them over to the left here. Gets a skelly trap too, which is nice. Just a few barbs and a few wizards, kind of a Town Hall 8 style kill on the last half of that dragon, last half of its hit points. So it goes down in just a moment, and then he can start his attack. Uh, dropping, I think, two golems. Yeah, two golems right here. Uh, minions for the funnel. Uh, nice and wide, making sure his troops aren't going to go anywhere on him. And then also, which was nice, is those wizards that took out the dragon are going to help create the funnel uh, at the top of it. So that was good, too. Wall breakers in, and then some giants. Uh, those giants are going to be really nice for tanking for that multi-inferno. And then on the single inferno, it won't be able to uh, take them out as easily as if they were golems. So that helps, too. G mass giants are good for single infernos uh, for Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Uh, attackers. Uh, drops a few hogs just to make sure that his uh, troops aren't going to get flanked by these defenses, but they're going to peter out here. Only had a few. Drop another rage in the core, uh, making its way through real quickly. You can see the, the single inferno isn't doing a whole lot, uh, just taking out one giant at a time. And they do a pretty good amount of damage under rage, so if you have a group of like 10 giants under rage, they can take out defenses pretty quickly. Uh, drops a giant and some wizards at the bottom here to try to take out the point defense, but doesn't quite get it done. And even though he tried to take out some of these outside defenses, 
Uh, he still has kind of a semicircle surrounding his kill squad, so they're going to go down in just a moment. Uh, Queen uses the ability, gets a few more buildings, but that'll do it, and then snipes one more for a 66% two-star. A nice attack, though, and when you're going against these Town Hall 10s, it's very difficult to three-star them as a Town Hall 9, uh, especially with the level 2 Infernos. So last attack we're going to look at is against a pretty easy base. This, this clan didn't have the best bases. Um, but anyway, it, it was a kind of a nice army composition, so I want to show it. Uh, just a hog and the poison spell. Uh, that's a good w way to do it. If you can, if it's only five troop space, go ahead and lure out that CC, because you can get those balloons dead and get the dragon to about one-third health. Uh, it's definitely worth it. So about half health, I think, if it's a level five dragon. Uh, but anyway, drops a golem down. I love those minions getting that funnel super wide. Um, if you want to do it like that, minions are great because you, you only have to invest half the troop space and they can basically do the same job. I think his wall breakers, oh no, he does bust in. Uh, so wall breakers are able to get the job done. They bust in uh, to that first layer and then has the jump to get into the core. Uh, dropping those Valks and you can see we have a few more Valks in the CC actually. And you can see um, all the air defenses are in the core. So just drops a few heals on the Valks. They're going to hollow out the core real quickly, and they can start with those 14 balloons uh, already coming in at the top here, uh, nice and early, which is nice. Uh, probably should drop a few in that archer tower. Uh, good heal placement there, too, because big core needed two heals to cover the whole thing. Uh, so those Valks are going to take out the last few Teslas in that air defense, and then balloons coming in, good numbers, uh, good placement, good timing, taking out all this point defense in the ring. Uh, you can see his heroes are still pretty much full health which is great, they'll help with cleanup, and then also has a few wizards uh, going around the outside, a few minions, it'll help take out uh, the trash buildings for cleanup. We've got a ton of troops left up, awesome job to, I didn't say who this was, uh, Wrecked Scrub from One Hive Alpha. Hope you guys enjoyed it, I'm going to have a lot of great attacks coming, um, just good videos in general, because One Hive is such a great uh, group of clans, uh, family of clans, and they're uh, attackers are very, very skilled, so stay tuned for more content. Uh, I'll look to do some continuation of the other series, uh, live attacks, Clash 101, that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sacratron out.